Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Shalom Black. If you are new to my channel, so welcome. Go ahead and subscribe. Click on the bell so you're also notified when I post new videos. Today I'm super excited to be filming this video because I actually got a lot of requests about it and my friend Denzel sent me a bunch of like options to pick from and as soon as I saw this one last picture that he sent me, I was just like, oh. <gasps> I have to recreate this. I don't know. I just got really excited about it. If you didn't know, there's a challenge going around called um, the Brad's Doll Challenge where people take a Brad's Doll and transform themselves into that Brad's Doll. So without any further ado, let's get into this transformation. I love using the Benefit Precise Eyebrow Pencil and this is in the shade number 5. I'm going to be taking the Kevin O'Conn Concealer in the shade um, SX14 to clean off my brows and shape it up. And I'm actually using the uh, Morphe brush in M410. That is like my favorite brush for my eyebrows cleaning. I'm taking the same concealer and I'm applying that all over my lid. This is going to play as a base so that our shadow can be very vibrant. Okay, so from the dolls, it looks like she had on like a reddish eyeshadow. Well, the eyeshadow looks pretty red and then on the center it looks like a burnt orange so um, I'm gonna go into this Suba Beauty palette um, this is the neutral uh, necessity palette and I'm going to be taking this shade which is like a really nice dark plummy color I'm gonna pack that all over my lid and then we're gonna go ahead and start blending I am using the Morphe M 160 166 you guys already know I like to do my eyeshadow before my foundation and that is to avoid any fallout that can mess up my um, foundation I'm gonna kind of work this outward to the eyes because it looks like her eyes were going like that you know they have that little feline looking eyes so to dip in that color, I'm going to go into this More Lashes palette. And I forgot who gave me this. I think somebody gave me this, but isn't this so freaking pretty? I'm going to be taking this shade right here. And that is going to be going into the crease to start deepening this color. So I'm going to go back into the Super Beauty palette. I'm taking the black eyeshadow. And I'm putting that on the crease. I'm kind of putting that a bit higher than my actual crease. Because as you guys know, the Bratz doll do have really big eyes. So even though I'm not really going for that illusion look, I still want to kind of make it illusion. You know what I mean? Okay guys, moving on, I'm going to be taking the Makeup Forever Aqua Color Paint in the shade white and I'm just going to be putting that in the waterline of my eyes and this is just going to make my eyes appear bigger like the doll but still human like, you know what I mean? But be careful when you do this. I'm kind of like a pro at this. It doesn't bug me at all. So now that I have that white paint, I'm going to go ahead and take a black co-liner and I'm just going to be lining right on the bottom and I'm going to be bringing that in towards the, um, the inner part of my eyes. But just follow the white liner. And I'm going to go ahead and take a black eyeshadow just a little bit and I just want to go ahead and smoke that co-liner and blend it so it's not so harsh. So I'm going to go ahead and take a liquid eyeliner and now I'm going to be lining my eyelid. I think she had a really dramatic eyeliner so... We're gonna go ahead and pop the lashes on and I'm using this um, lashes from Le Page Trend and this is in the Style Plum. 
this is actually my favorite lashes from them they are so freaking bomb i posted an instagram picture with this lashes and everybody was like freaking out like shalom what is this lashes what is that what is that so yeah i'm going to leave the link in the description bar down below too okay finally we're gonna get into the complexion makeup i'm gonna go ahead and apply my primer i am using the um the Tatcha primer. I told you guys my favorite primer. So if you've been with me, you know what I've been rolling with. But I'm just gonna apply that. This really makes my skin so soft. And guess what I did today? I legit like shaved my whole face today because I wanted everything to be super soft and baby like. You know, like dolls. Um, so for the foundation that I'm going to be using today, I'm using my favorite foundation because I feel like they give me the best look. So I'm taking the Becca um, Ultimate Coverage Foundation in the shade Mahogany, mixing it with the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Foundation in the shade R532. Um, and then I just use my brush from Morphe. And this is actually one of the brush that was part of James Charles collection. This is the M439 brush for foundation. It's bomb as hell. So I'm just gonna mix this two foundation together and blend. I'm going to be taking the Fenty Beauty Concealer in the shade 480 and I'm going to be highlighting. And as you guys can see, this concealer is not super light because I feel like with her complexion, it looks very like one solid color so we're not going super bright on the eye and then i'm taking the fenty beauty um, match stick concealer in the shade espresso to contour and you know just kind of bring my shade back and this isn't super dark either so it's giving us a very nice subtle contour Okay, so I'm going to be setting my eyes with a translucent powder and I just like to press that in because I feel like this really gives you that effect of like a flawless skin. Guys, so this is the funny thing. I actually do not know much about Brad's doll and I did not play with Brad's doll at all. Um, but I did, I remember like finding out about Bright's doll when I came to America. Because when I was back in Nigeria, we didn't really have actual dolls. So we have to like make dolls from sugar cane. And so the way that you make it, you get a sugar cane. Because we had like a lot of sugar cane. I've actually, I don't see sugar cane in America at all. But back home, we had sugar cane. And we used to just take it um, if you want your, your doll to be tall. You cut it accordingly and so you just keep smashing the sugar cane until I don't know how to okay so it makes a Brussels like this so the more you smash and the shorter that your sugar cane gets the longer the hair gets and then it really gets um, super like soft and just like slick and so that's what we use as our dolls literally um, and then I remember if you want to change the color of the sugar cane, like the hair of the sugar cane, you get food, food coloring and you change it. And I remember I used to do all these different colors on my sugar cane doll. But yeah, so when I came to America, I kind of knew about Barbie dolls because they were just like everywhere. But my parents ain't got no money to buy me no Barbie doll. And so when I came to America, I discovered Brad's doll. But at that time, I was like 11 and I wasn't playing with dolls at all. So I never really got to like play with dolls. So if you even ask me about Brad's doll's name, I actually don't know. And I actually don't know Barbie's name with, besides Barbie. Um, is Barbie just one doll, just in different color? Mm, no. No? They all have different names? Pretty sure. Oh, Barbie. but Barbie is the like popular well, Barbie, one. Barbie is the one girl, and then Barbie like has different looks. So like Malibu Barbie, mm -hmm. Safari Barbie. Okay, but they have the black Barbies. Mm -hmm. well, but they're not called. What are they called? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I legit do not know anything about mm -hmm. dolls. I didn't play with them. So. 
Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> I did sometimes, but I didn't know the difference between them, you know? Mm hmm. Me neither. I don't know. I knew Yasmin was the pretty brat dog. Yasmin? Is she, is she black? They gonna, black? You guys are gonna Latina. cut me up. She was what? Latina? Um, yeah, I have no idea. I do have a black one, though. I'm just following the trend, guys. Just doing the video. Mm -hmm. I have no idea who is who, but I'm pretty sure all these Bobby dolls that everybody is like recreating are not actual. I mean, Brad's doll that everybody is recreating are not actual Brad's doll. Mm -hmm. It's just somebody that just like took them and you know restyled them and everything like that. And I actually like that because then there's so much you could do that's fun. Like the outfit for my doll that I picked, her outfit is just so freaking cute. So I can't wait for you guys to see it on me. So moving on, I'm going to be taking um, press powder and I'm just going to set my whole face. And this press powder right here really gives you a doll-like skin because it's so fine. And like I describe this as a filter, like a real life filter basically. So we're technically done with the face makeup. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face and then we're gonna go ahead and do the lips. Okay, so for the lips, she has this really gorgeous reddish wine um, lipstick. I really do not go for red lipstick like that, but for this look, of course, we have to do what we gotta do. So I'm going to be lining up my lips with the MAC Night Moth Lip Liner. And then I'm going to be taking the Beauty Bakery um, Cranberry Stilettos Lip Whip. This is such a pretty color, so hopefully I like it on me. And yeah, so I'm obviously going to be overlining my lips slightly because the Bratz doll do have big lips and I have big lips, but we're gonna make it a little bit more dramatic. Okay guys, so we are basically done with the whole makeup look. Um, I don't know, I think it looks like it. Face it does look like it, so that's a plus on my end. Um, but of course we're not done because we have to go ahead and get our hair together, the outfit, the shoes, so you guys can see the whole look come to life. Um, but yeah, thank you so much guys for watching this video. If you enjoy it, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and let me know what you think in the comment section down below. But yeah, and remember to also follow me on all my social media. That would be Shalom Black. But yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember to always be your own kind of beautiful. Bye.